When I was younger, football wasn't as important as it is now because I just played the game because I loved playing. And that was it. I still did my lessons. You had to do your lessons because there was no way I could make a living out of football at that time, or I thought you couldn't until I came to Italy. Questa è la camera, l'armadio, la scrivania e questo è il letto. Se ti piace? Sì. In the summer I came over with the England team and we played in a four nation tournament and some Italian asked who Kerry was and I knew it was sort of an approach. I didn't take much notice because we were playing the final of the tournament the following day. I went back home and I heard nothing so I thought that was the end of it then. Early November, Lazzo rang me up at home and asked me to join them. I worked in a sports centre part-time back in England, which paid me £45 a week, which uh, it suited me because I could train in the daytime and days when I was not working. And Lazio offered me £125 a week, plus accommodation, which was more than I was earning at home. Uh, Giornale Inglese? I didn't expect it to be uh, like Mark Haightley or Ray Wilkins would have because there's more money in men's football, but uh, it was OK for me. If a girl wants to play football, why shouldn't she? There's nothing wrong with it at all. It's just that and if I say to someone, oh, I play football, and they say, oh, girls can't play football, I just turn around and say to them, have you seen it, um, a decent girls game? And if they say no, I say, well, then you can't uh, give your opinion until you've seen one. And um, I, I haven't got as much hassle as uh, other girls get because um, I play with boys so much and once they've seen you play, they give you a bit of respect. <laughs> Hello, Helen, it's Kerry. I wondered if I could come over. I've got nothing to do at the moment. I'm really bored. Would that be OK? Oh, I hope so, too. Now, just put Ben down, see if he'll go off to sleep. How's the Italian coming along? <laughs> How are, you, how are your classes going? Well, school's much better, actually. Um, we started with the alphabet, and that wasn't too bad, pronouncing words in the alphabet, because it's different uh, to English, how they pronounce the word. Then um, we went on to words and reading, and now we're doing the verbs, which is driving me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Some words I do understand, because uh, Paola, uh, the girl next door, she's helping me. And is it, uh, is it helping you sort of with the people at the club? Because obviously the majority of the people are Italian, mm. so, I mean, can you speak to them at all now? I mean, do you understand when they shout something on the field to you? I don't know what they say. I can pick up some words, some words that... Um, but how do you know when uh, they're going to pass to you unless you, you know, if you're not looking at them and you're running sort of down the field or whatever? Well, on the pitch, I just do what comes naturally. I just play my own game as much as possible then. Uh, you can read each other in some situations. It's not too bad. The first couple of weeks, it was terrible. I used to hate it, and I probably would have come back home if someone would give me a ticket home, because uh, I'd just got nothing to do. At night, we trained from half past five till about quarter to eight, so it wasn't too bad. But in the daytime, it was really boring and depressing. At the moment, things have gone a bit wrong because I was out here for a week, I got injured, and uh, the team's going through a bad phase at the moment because the president decided he didn't want to sponsor us anymore. And uh, they're out getting a new president, and uh, hopefully, things will start to change. No, me raccomando, perché il campo è infame, no? Cioè, pile pressing al centro campo, va bene?
I never think about getting injured. If you have a fear about being injured, you will get injured. Because when you go into a tackle, you back out. I'd never back out of a tackle. Some days I feel as though I could go and play until I was about 35, and other days I feel another two years will have to retire because after some matches you feel shattered. But, um, well, I'll stop thinking about it in another year or so. I'm, on, I'm 23 now, so I've got a bit more time yet. Yesterday it was the first time that Lazio mm. Mm, have not won at home. He means that it was for the for the field mm. that was not very good to play. Mm. I think uh, the media in England give uh, women's football lousy coverage. I mean, if the men had made the European final, it would have been splashed over every paper in England. When we made it uh, against Sweden, they didn't want to know us hardly. E, e partiremo con l'intervista con Kerry Davis. E volevo chiedere a Kerry, chiedendo uh, quali sono le differenze uh, che lei ha notato tra il calcio in Italia e in Inghilterra. What are the differences between football here in Italy and England? Um, over here it's um, a high standard, it's much better in some ways. Um, Sono molto più bravi. Sono molto più bravi. Mm. How have the difficulties of the club affected the way you play or the way you feel? Well, I think it affects the way I play sometimes. Yeah, Saturday it did. But um, other times I've tried to put it to the back of my mind. So why do people uh, keep saying, why don't you speak Italian? I've been here two months. What's do a me It's difficult. Basta. Adesso studio. Mamma. Mamma, papà. Sì, ah. sì. Papà no inglese però. No, ah. no. Uh, Jamaican, Jamaicano, uh, no. No. Non parla. No inglese. Mm. Mm. Yeah, okay. I spoke to Linda last week, but um, I was just, I was asking about the England squad to see if I'd got in, because I wasn't sure, because now I've changed the dress, all my letters are going to the office still. And I go to fetch them once a week, but, um, you know, there's all these problems and everything. Well, I better go anyway, so I'll phone you next week because I don't know whether I'm flying out Thursday or Friday. Yeah. Well, it doesn't seem as though she's been away, really, does it? When she comes back, it seems as though she's been here all the time. doesn't really seem any different. Not to me, it doesn't anyway. So she gets in the groove that quickly. Mm. Well, she does. I don't know, at first, I suppose, I, I, I thought I wish she'd do something more feminine, really, you know, because I didn't realise that... I mean, I'm not into sports myself, so I didn't realise there was a, a big interest in ladies' football until later. So I was just... I just thought, well, she'd perhaps get into something else as she gets older, but she didn't. So I just went along with it. Have you done this on purpose? Yeah. Every time I come home, always ironing for me. Well, if I didn't leave you some ironing, Kerry, mm -hmm. it wouldn't be like coming home, would it, really? I mean, you know you like ironing. Love it. Which I always say you some, and it feels as though it's, it's home from home now. I've always played football since I was uh, very small, and I used to go. I used to go around with my brother, and all my friends were boys, so. They played football, I played football, and that was that. But 
and uh, when we moved from Sneed Green to Harrisy Ed, where my parents live now, um, my brother he used to work on the milk round and he knew a girl that played football for a team and he kept asking her to let me go and play for him. Then one day she came down to see me, asked me if I wanted to go training with him. I said yes, yeah. so I joined the team in Sandbach ERF, that was the team. Even if I come back to England, I'm not going to live around here. Fine. No, it's Down too London. London or Manchester, it's too boring around here. Boring? Yeah. Some truth in that. <laughs> don't see what a referee made us play on in Italy. Mike, it was about three inches of water, and he made us play on it. The referee was probably paid off because this team were only going to beat us on the slot. <laughs> Ciao. 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 Oh, it's fine. How are you? All right. <laughs> You've got those glasses. The president. <laughs> Don't you think they're cool? Well, my sister. She hates football. <laughs> she just doesn't like it at all. She's a lady, and I'm a tomboy. So we're just totally different in every way. Yes. I was expecting a big circle round, then all this bit bare. I don't know, I can't, I wonder so what that when is. When they used to say they threw the Christians into mm. the arena and all that. Yeah. Here we go. Mm, he's nice over there. He's the one with curly hair. Mm. I think men, Italian men are in general. Mm. Tasty, aren't they? Yeah, <laughs> dress nice. Look quite good. To see what we can do at the clubs. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm a professional footballer, I'm allowed that sort of thing. Don't be silly, I'm always got to have a bit of fun. <laughs> so, do you think you'll come back? I don't know. Um, I think Lazio want me back, they keep hinting, but. Um, I should think so, you've done a lot for the team. Depends uh, the From money. what I've heard, anyway. If they pay me good money, I'd probably stay. But if not, well. I either go back home, what to? So tomorrow is a big day. Hmm? Are you nervous? Will be when I get there. Start shaking. And what's his name? Sergio starts shouting. Gary, Gary. <laughs> no, he's all right. How many goals do you think you'll score? No, I think we'll hopefully we'll win one nil. One nil, one goal. Good, good team, Tranny. Do you think you'll score it? I hope so. I'll try my best. Mm. Crazy. Sylvia. I should have scored one chance, I should have scored. I panicked the next time. 